Okay, I want to give you a quick summary on how to um, manipulate this vr.vex.com website that we're going to be using in the next couple of weeks to write a few programs um, and that uh, Project Lead the Way and Vex have put together for us since we're going all distance learning. Okay, so first thing you do is we go to the website vr.vex.com. This will be your default window. You'll have this yellow when started block here. I've already put together some blocks down here, so yours will be blank. Uh, here are all your controls. You can scroll down through these, or if you just click straight on the uh, color, it takes you right to those segments. We're mainly going to be using drivetrain and uh, the looks, the robot pin is what we're going to be using, and then some of the control for wait times and so forth. Okay, so first thing we need to do, we need to choose our playground, as they call it. What is going to be our backdrop for our robot? So we click playground, and then we go up here to the little drop down menu, and we can pick uh, whichever one we like. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and pick the wall maze. Okay. So we just pick the wall maze. Now, uh, this view right here with the heading, the rotation, uh, the different locations, and everything, if you want to get rid of that, um, just click the button here. What that does is that gives you the full size screen of the maze. So I'm going to drag it over a little bit here on the side so I can have my coding here on the left. Okay, The different buttons on the screen, this is your play button, this is reset, Okay, this uh, top left button with the grid and bars, this gives you the split view between the maze and all of your headings and directions. Uh, just click that, toggle that on and off. The camera views, currently we're in the top view but if you click the tilted camera, it gives you a side view so you can see more uh, in depth exactly where your robot is uh, located in the maze. Okay. I'm going to use this uh, top view for the first trial and then I'll flip it to the tilted view to see it. Okay, so all we do, uh, we lock our blocks together so my first task what I'm trying to do is take my robot I want it to drive forward uh, stop and then I need it to turn left go through here and then turn right and drive back up in here I'm trying to work my way through the maze okay so I'm gonna be coming around here and trying to work my way through okay so I put some blocks together I use the turn um, blocks here you can control the right and left you can control the degrees how many degrees uh, to turn and whether you want it to stop or not so uh, I've got mine after every turn stopping it just makes it where uh, it's easier for me to control all right so let's play it and see what happens okay so there it goes it turned left drove forward turned right okay so I've made it that far Okay, my next step, I need it to turn left. So let's click here. And uh, we need it to turn left. And I do want it to make a straight 90 degree turn. Then I'm going to stop driving. I want it to then drive forward. And you can use the grid here to get your distances um, so you know exactly how many millimeters I'm gonna start it out at about oh uh, I think it's gonna be about 230 let's try 230 millimeters that will drive forward and then I want it to uh, stop driving once it gets there okay and if you want it to drive um, faster you can set the drive velocity to 100% so I could come back up here click and drag this and set my drive velocity uh, let's see let's make it go fast how about 90% uh, of its maximum okay so let's reset our robot there's the top view and play 
You can see it's going much faster. Let's see if my add-on piece, okay, nice. Okay, and let's reset. And then if you wanna watch it through the side view, we click here and click play. And here goes our robot weaving through the maze. There we go, okay. Then reset, and I'm gonna go back to the top view there. Okay, so we create our program. We can click and drag these blocks around. If you need to insert something, just click and pull the blocks apart, and then you can insert um, a new velocity if you wish. Okay, so you can, so you just pull the blocks apart, click and drag, pulls them apart. When you finish your program, and you've made it all the way through, then I need you to take a screenshot of the screen and how we can do that. We go down to our snipping tool and the snipping tool here, we click new and we just click and drag across it and we have our picture and then we can save this insert it into the Word document as the directions say. Okay. The other thing you can do, if your program gets too big and you can't see it all on one screen, the plus and minus arrows here will let the blocks shrink so that you can fit more of them on the screen and then you can make them larger. Okay. So that's a quick uh, summation of how to use VIX as a VR virtual robot programming.